Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be an autumn reset slash kind of decorate and get ready for autumn with me. I'm so excited for this video. We decorate not just my shelves, but my whole house, and I get myself physically ready with getting some new clothes from Goodwill that are very autumnal and doing some other little changes to get me ready for this autumn season and I am so excited so I hope you all enjoy this autumn reset with me. Hi everyone. So I just got my hair done and I love it. I got a trim and I also colored it. This is the first time I've ever colored my hair in my life and I love it. I went for copper, coppery blonde and I'm so happy with it. Ah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I also did get my nails done, but they didn't have any fall colors. Um, so I'll probably have these for like about a week and then I'll do a fall color at home manicure for myself. But I had gotten my nails done for a wedding earlier and it, they have just grown off. And so I needed to get them professionally taken off and then I just got another little color. But it is meant to be a fall theme vlog. So while the nails don't follow it yet, the hair definitely does, and we are going to go book shopping and get some fall books that I'm so excited for, and then we are going to head home, and I am in the process of, like, doing a huge cleaning of my house because we were gone the past, like, two, almost three months traveling over the summer, and so I am coming home, I am cleaning, getting the house, like, back to everyday function, and then I will be decorating, so we're going to do all that in this week's vlog and I am so incredibly excited. I mean, ah! Yesterday I said that I was going to do a little bit of uh, fall book shopping and whatnot so this is going to be part one of a autumn haul within this video because I've gotten a few things but a little bit later probably like in a couple days or so I am going to go out and get some other things so in this set up for autumn video it's just the flow of whatever autumn is for me right now. So, like, I'm obsessed with my hair. I love it so much. Anyway, so I'm going to briefly go over the books that I got, but they will also be featured in a book haul that I will be filming soon to put up in the next week or so, which will probably come out before this video. So, but not everything in part one is books. Part two will probably mostly be the decorations that I'm going to get. So, First thing I want to show you that I got that's very autumnal slash start of school are these shoes. I had a pair extremely similar to this that I got at a thrift store. And they were wonderful, but in the move they got folded in some way and they are ripped apart. They are broken. I cannot wear them anymore. So I got replacements and I love this style. I love this color. Hopefully these will be a little bit comfier than the old pair were because they were not very comfortable but I am just so excited to walk around my beautiful autumnal campus this fall in these shoes. On the same theme of that as well, I got myself a new backpack. I very much treated myself to this backpack because I have a good classic backpack, but because I am an English major and a Spanish translation minor because I work in a very literature focused field, I really wanted something to go with the aesthetic. <laughs> so I got myself this. And the reason why I got myself such a big bag was because I also got, I got a new computer, which is quite a bit bigger than my old one um, because that one was literally crumbling to pieces. It was over six years old. <laughs> um, and it would have cost the same amount of money to buy a new one as it would have to repair my old one. And then the old one would have had more issues later on. So I got a new computer. It's quite a bit bigger. So I needed a big enough bag to hold that. And my textbook for my last science class. And then all of my other books for my English classes. So this just feels like the perfect English major or translator bag. It's so academia and I love it so much. So I very much treated myself to that. And then the other little thing. It's not incredibly autumnal is this, which is a eyeshadow, create your own eyeshadow palette holder. So Sephora kind of sells the little circles of eyeshadow separately. 
um, but then you can go ahead and get one of these cases and just put them in whatever order you want. I do put the um, the labels of what they are so that I don't accidentally buy repeats or if I run out I know what it was if I want to get it again. So I did get one of these. And then moving on to the books, the first three books that I got now are books for one of my classes. I'm taking a world literature class. Uh, one of those books I already own and it's Things Fall Apart by Tinua Achebe. And then I've got three books here and then I have one other book yet that's coming. Hopefully it'll be here today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, Clear Light of Day. This is by Vintage Desai or Anita Desai. So I will be reading this for school. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have already read this but I don't own it but now I own it uh, for school so I can read it again. And Out of Africa and Shadows on the Grass by Isak D. Nesson. Um, so again, these were the three books and then one more coming that I don't remember what it was called. For school, I did get them all off of thrift books because I don't need nice new brand, brand new copies. I just need functional copies. And then let's get into the fun autumnal books that I bought. First thing, I got a free tote from Barnes & Noble because I was a member and so they were giving all their members free totes. And then I also got this tote for free purely because the person who was working there was like, hey, we're trying to get rid of these totes. Do you want this one too? So I got both of these totes for free, which is great because I can use them for grocery shopping. I like to do reusable bags for grocery shopping. But now into the books. First one that I got that I'm so excited for, I've been wanting to get this forever, that is Fence. They only had volume one, um, which is like really sad that they only had volume one, but I get the feeling I'm going to read this very quickly and I'm going to want to get some of uh, the other ones, so I will keep my eyes out for it. Like I said, these will all be in the haul that have most likely already come out for this video, but like I chose most of these books specifically because they're autumnal. Uh, such as The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields, Fathom Folk by Eliza Chen, That's Not My Name by Megan Lally, Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer, also Purple Sprayed Edges, The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, The Darkness Within Us by Trisha Lovenseller. Also, look at these sprayed edges. Absolutely gorgeous. And the final book is the Coven by Harper L. Woods. Um, and again, gorgeous rose spray edges. So many of these books have gorgeous spray edges and I just, I felt so fortunate and so lucky to be blessed. So that is what I've gotten to kick off my uh, autumnal haul within this video. Now I'm going to continue to clean the house and then the next section hopefully will be me decorating the house for fall and purchasing more fall decorations because why not? So, all right, let's get to move on. I started reading a new book. I am now reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is like the classic dark academia. A lot of people say that dark academia was formed or at least heavily influenced by or became popular because of The Secret History. And it's a big book and I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. It is quite slow, but I also knew going into it that like it wasn't going to necessarily be my favorite type of dark academia, but I still really wanted to read it. And it is doing a wonderful job of putting me into the fall vibes. <laughs>
you're going to be a private guest participant in today's videos. Yeah, probably. Okay, so as you can see, I found the perfect bookstore for this autumn and spooky season. Best news is, it's a three minute drive from my house. Like, it was amazing. I said, hey friends, let's go to the bookstore. We hopped on good Google Maps, yes and looked for bookstores because I knew there was Barnes & Noble and I knew there was a local bookstore that had two locations, one in my hometown and one here. But I wanted to explore some other places and this bookstore called Dead Time Stories came up. And the best part is it's also right next to two other bookstores on the same block and a cozy coffee shop. Like, mind blown. So as you saw, we went there. So let's do a mini haul of all the books I got at these two bookshops. I only filmed the Dead Time Stories interior because the other bookstore, Wayfair Books, is about to have their grand opening or reopening. Basically, they were in a very small space when we were there, but next week they expand into their full store space within the market area that we were at. So I'm going to obviously go again for that grand opening and so I will and I get the feeling I will be going to this bookstore a lot more in the future. So then I also got this sticker because it fits my life perfectly, married to a guy, still by. The pairing by Casey McQuiston. This follows two bisexuals who have broken up but had booked a trip to do like a European wine tasting kind of thing. And so after they'd broken up, they both decide they need a vacation and that they're going to do it, but independently of each other. And then they're both there. And then I believe they have some sort of like arrangement or competition to see how many people they can sleep with on this uh, wine tasting. And then obviously I assume they're going to get back together in the end, but I am just so excited to read this. Normally it doesn't sound like the kind of book that I would go for. But I like Casey McQuiston's other books, and I'm just really thrilled that it's two bisexual main characters, so I definitely will be wanting to read this. And then the other amazing thing, so the Dead Time Stories, like I said, fits the aesthetic that we want for this fall, this spooky season. I was able to grab their business card because they do have a book club and a little flyer for some of the events coming up because the other thing is that apparently my city does book crawls, a few times a year, like like a pub crawl where you go from pub to pub and just kind of get a drink at each place. They do that, but with bookstores, it's a book crawl. So that and a couple of other spooky sponsored bookish events coming up that I did not want to miss. So super excited. But now let's get into the stack of spooky books that I got from Dead Time Stories for this fall autumn vlog. So the first one is Murder Your Employer and this is by Rupert Holmes. And basically you have a bunch of people, I don't know if they're like kids or adults, I think they're adults, who um, have all had bad work experiences. And so this person comes and like teaches them how to be successful killers so that they can go back and murder the employers that, that did them wrong. So. I don't think it's quite dark academia, like it's not like a legit school, or at least I don't think so. But like, ugh, beautiful cover, beautiful. And then I got A Botanist Guide to Parties and Poisons by Kate Kwadi, 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 Kwadi. Like four different languages in my head are telling me how to pronounce this, but Kwadi. And this follows, it's a historical kind of like spooky book where you have a woman who goes to university but you know back then women were not seen as being able to have high intellect and so she is invited to this party and she's kind of getting like picked on quite a bit and then all of a sudden the host ends up dead poisoned so i think it's your classic like dinner party murder mystery with a historical twist well i mean i don't know if it's really much of a twist with a historical element and uh, kind of an academia twist to it. So, excited to read this. It's a little bit shorter too, so it'll be a great weekend read while I am in school. The next book that I got is a book I cannot believe I haven't purchased yet because I read it earlier the, this year and I 
loved it. It is the book that in my mid-year book freakout tag I said was like my best book so far this year. So the fact that I haven't purchased it before now is crazy. And that is All That Consumes Us by Erica Waters. This is Dark Academia featuring writers. Like this is me living my best life vicariously through these characters. Every, every word, nook, cozy, cranny, just was the right amount of spooky and academic and dark and just, oof. It tickled me in all the right places, all the right ways. So I'm happy that this is finally on my shelf and it will definitely be one of my display books with my dark academia section because let me tell you, that section of my shelf has grown quite a bit to it's not just my thriller section but I have a dark academia section. So happy to finally have this. Moving on, this next book is a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm a little wishy-washy on this. It is Horror Movie by Paul Tremblay. I read Cabin at the End of the World by this author and I was not thrilled. I didn't love it. I kind of liked it. And some of it was the writing style, but I've heard there's a lot of hype and excitement for this one. And I thought, you know what? Let's just give it a try, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try to go into it not with super high hopes or high expectations. The final book that I picked up is one that I knew I needed to read physically, was not one I was gonna do an audiobook. And that is Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. I have really been liking a lot of Grady Hendrix's most recent books. I've been kind of keeping up with all of uh, this author's most recent publications, but I need to go through and read his backlog. So that's kind of what I'm starting to do. Horror Store is kind of like your haunted Ikea, or it's like an Ikea manual, but with a spooky twist. I don't want to know more about it because I want to just read it and enjoy it for what it is. I don't want to have any false expectations. That is the stack of books that I got on this little spooky haul plus one romance book. We are going to decorate because I have been sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting to decorate my house for autumn, but I've just had so many other little things to do with the house, like cleaning and repairs and whatnot, that I keep pushing it off. And even in this vlog, I'm like, okay, let's go decorate. Okay, let's go decorate. And then I, I haven't done it yet. All I've done is switched out some flowers for sunflowers and already this just made me so happy. But yes, the next clip will be me decorating the house for autumn and fall and spooky season. So let's do it. <laughs>
Hi friends. <laughs> I've made some choices. I had to run to the grocery store to get just a couple things, a couple important things, but a couple things. Um, but then I saw a Michaels and a Goodwill <laughs> and I got a little distracted. So I have a bit of an autumn haul, a general haul. Um, some of them are decorations because when I decorated, I noticed that there were some spots I was kind of missing or wishing I had something. So I fixed that. And I went to Goodwill to do some donations. And then apparently the Goodwill right by us is a really good source for academia style clothing, like dark academia style. So I went to Michael's and I got this soft fuzzy blanket. I only have the spooky blanket and I know that my partner would prefer it not be out before October. And then this way we each have an autumnal blanket. And then I got just a few more pumpkins to be stacked because I had one little area that was just needing some more pumpkins. More leaves because I have quite a few areas that needs more leaves, obviously. Something I got that I didn't need but boy did I want it was a little morning pumpkin. So I can put this in our bedroom on just like my little dresser so I can see it in the mornings, which is great because I don't have any decorations in our bedroom. They're all in the living room, dining room, and book room. So two pillows. I got Get Cozy, Hello Fall, because I thought those would look very nice on our couch because our couch is very gray and blue, which are just not autumnal colors. But gray can kind of lend itself as a neutral color, but blue to me is just such a, like, if it's icy blue, winter, otherwise, like, summer kind of breezy thing. So I really wanted to get some autumnal colors on that couch. I got more gourds, more squash. And then the final things that I kind of got were... So the whole point of going to Michael was to get stick-on magnets for a whiteboard to put on our fridge. So that's what this is for. But then I saw, I was looking for magnets that were like spooky magnets to put on here. Cause this is, you know, kind of plain. So I got regular magnets and I got some stickers. That way I'm not sticking them on so that they're not a one-time use, but um, I can just stick them to these magnets. And then the magnets come on and off for the season. So, and then I got, one thing from the grocery store, and that was actually just this, just a white long sleeve shirt with like a little bit of a collar. Cause believe it or not, I've been having such a hard time finding just a basic long sleeve white shirt with a little bit of a collar, like not necessarily a turtleneck, not a collared shirt. Cause I do have these, but just like something to wear underneath, literally kind of how I do this underneath dresses or other tops and skirts just to layer better. And then everything else is from Goodwill. So I got two pairs of shoes, I got these boots because all of my black boots that I have are heels and I need some better like walking around campus black shoes. I, mean, I don't need them but I want them, I saw them, I got them. And then I got these because I have a couple of like light brown and dark brown like walking shoes like this. That are very academic, you know, they're, they are the Oxfords, but I didn't have them in black. And now I have them in black. I haven't taken the price tag off of any of these yet. But then I got this kind of plaid collared, kind of like a jacket, but it's cropped so I can wear it over top. I actually tried on a little black dress with this over top and that was super cute. This is the only thing that I got that kind of really made me think of winter is this long like very deep red cardigan just with this white fluffy hood it's very soft very comfy but just this kind of made me think of like christmas so i was planning ahead and then this is the sorry this isn't very bookish but it's autumnal so i'm going with it just a simple little black dress that i can wear things underneath or over top it's great for layering which is what the academia aesthetic is all about Collared shirts, neutral colors, and layering. This is a white collared shirt with names of cities, mostly European cities like Paris, Vienna, Rome, Amsterdam, Moscow, Pisa, um, 
yeah, pretty much those. But I've been to majority of these cities, so I thought it was really fun because I love to travel and I love collared shirts. And then it can be a more interesting collar poking out. Just this kind of like mustard yellow top, again, thinking of layering purposes for this. Um, but it is also really hot outside still. Um, so this is like an autumnal color, but still summer style that like I won't roast alive, but I can still feel fairly autumnal in it. I got this turtleneck sweater. I just thought it was super cute. This cropped top, it is so incredibly soft, just so soft. With this cropped, um, turtleneck long sleeve. It's a little thinner, so it's good for a slightly warmer weather. But again, thinking of layering, I can put it underneath a dress. I can put a jacket over it. I could put it over top of a, a dress. So again, thinking all about neutral colors and layering because I don't have a ton of neutral colors, but I love layering. And then I have this. It's almost like a coat. But not complete it's too thick to be a cardigan but not sturdy enough to be a coat but it's a collared it's a collared like long button up like it, it's going to be perfect for those very crisp or windy fall days where it's just not cold enough for a coat but it's definitely not warm enough for just like a regular sweater or a long sleeve shirt so excited to wear this walking around campus. It's gonna feel so dark academia. I'm gonna have to wear it on Mondays with my fiction writing class because we are in the basement of a haunted mansion that has been converted into an educational building. So we are in the basement of that in a conference room for my fiction writing class. Like it is the epitome of dark academia down there because we are a group of six writers at like nine o'clock at night just writing our stories oh my gosh you guys i can't i can't even i can't i did get one summer item mostly because i saw this dress and i just really liked it it's just a cute little simple dress i just i liked the fit of it because all of my dresses tend to be the exact same silhouette the exact same style but this was different but i still really liked it so i was trying to go out of my comfort zone, especially because I don't wear a lot of red, which like I probably should wear red, definitely more than yellow. <laughs> I got this like wool skirt. It's a long, like slightly past knee length skirt. <sighs> Again, it's really soft. It's really thick. So it'll go well in the winter months along with my lined tights that I have. But again, neutral color, nice and warm, long skirt. You'll probably see me wear as much of this clothing as I can in the next couple of days. Again, depending on the weather because it's still 90 degree heat here. Um, then I got this skirt, which it looks short, but it's not. It is a knee length plaid skirt, which is great because I'm not super into like short skirts. I just get so paranoid. So this was so perfect. Then I got this dress, which I'm not normally a fan of corduroy but as a dress i think it's fine it's one of those like it buttons up the front literally kind of like what i'm wearing it buttons up the front into almost a sweetheart neck and again just layering even with some of the tops that i got here and jackets layer with this it's gonna be so cute the final bit that i got is actually a two-piece matching set so it's this skirt again long plaid skirt but it comes with a vest literally a matching vest and i think you know on a day i have a ton of self-confidence i would love to wear this the only problem is this fits perfectly and this is way too big so i am gonna have to take this to a tailor's to take in quite a bit but <laughs> that's gonna be for a lot of self-confidence so that's my little autumnal Hall. Again, sorry, it's not like super bookish content, but it's just meant to be an autumnal vlog. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I am obsessed. My house is officially ready for autumn and so am I. <laughs> um, thank you all very much for watching. I am 
obsessed with my shelves. I thought about getting another um, leaf thing for the staircase, but I think that if I did get a third one, it would, it would just make it too much, you know, too thick for the house. So I think I'm going to keep it as it is, but oh my goodness. And I, I just noticed like in an apartment, all these decorations, I mean, these are new, but in an apartment, all those decorations feel like it's so saturated, but in a house where I can spread it out a little bit more, it's a little less saturated. But I would also love to invest in some autumnal curtains. We have curtains in our bedroom. I want to get new curtains in the kitchen and in the living room. And so if we got something that's just slightly autumnal themed, if it's a color or a little simple pattern, I would love that as well. But yes, I am officially ready for autumn and I am so excited. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below, when do you start decorating for autumn or spooky season? For me, I do it in August because I start school in August and you always say you start school in the fall. So if I'm starting school, it must be fall. That is my justification for why I decorate for so early. Now, after this, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to wash some of my autumnal mugs and cups so I can start using those on a regular basis. Oh, just so excited. Anyway, I'm supposed to be ending this video, not thinking of more things to do. Thank you for watching. If you like bookish content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I will post on Wednesdays and I'm so excited. I also have other bookish social media linked down below so you can follow me there and keep up with what I'm reading currently at the end of this video. So when I started this video, I was reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I have since finished that. Then I read The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. And now I'm currently reading You Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. So that's my bookish journey while I am getting ready for fall. So again, thank you all very much for watching and until I see you in the next one, happy reading!